I'm going to show today how to make a diffuser for the light boxes. And I'll show you why people have been asking me that and why I made one for this one. You can see the uh, tiny little lines on the bottom. And if I put a light behind it, you can see all of the pinholes in there which is why I made the diffuser for this one. The, I used to make the diffuser for all of them, but as we started tweaking print settings, we started closing the gaps and we don't really need them anymore. But if you have tiny little lines like this, uh, I'll show you how to get rid of them. So if you make a diffuser, you can make it separate or you can make it print on the back side of this. I'll show you how to do both methods. So if you make it separate like this, uh, I usually just make these like one millimeter thick. Uh, the white, it's plenty transparent, so you can make it one millimeter thick and just put it on the inside. Obviously, you're going to need a little bit of a tolerance between the diffuser and the inner wall. So point, point 0.2 is plenty. That way you can slide it in and out. So if I put this inside the box... So you just slides right in there. And now, if I put the light behind it, you can kind of see where the uh, pinholes were a little bit if you put the light straight on it. But with the LEDs, how they're gonna be, there's no longer uh, bright, bright, shiny pinholes or gaps in the print because I have the diffuser behind it. And now it looks much better, much more clean. And you don't have a, a poor quality product with a simple diffuser. Okay. And I'll show you how to make that right meow. So on the, uh, let me switch to my computer screen. Pop on over to Fusion. With that one, you can see, uh, actually, I have the sliced file open for this as well. You can see all the tiny little gaps, potential, potential pinholes in the slice. These are where the uh, filler cannot get. It's below basically 0 0.42 uh, line width, which is the basic standard line width for a 0.4 nozzle for the generic uh, print profile. You can edit all that and change it, but that's way more work than necessary whenever you can just simply make a diffuser and then fill it all in. So with that said, let me tear, turn off the back plate on this and you can see I have a diffuser on the back side of here and how I made that. Let me turn off the diffuser. Okay. Getting, of course, as soon as I start the stream, I could get blast with messages. Okay. So how to do that is uh, this one kind of a bad example because I did make some of the parts thicker than the other. That way, some of the red was uh, better for uh, actually. That's a. I can show you how cool that is real quick. You see how it's flat colored on the front. This is another technique that I've already showed you in the past that I have videos on making shaded uh, features. So you can see, looks kind of basic. And then if you put light, you can now see the different lines all throughout the details. But that's not what this lesson is for. On the back side of the model, you can just click, uh, Offset plane, click on the back side of your model. Okay, click on the plane. And now we're going to create a sketch. And what that does is creates the sketch on the back side of your face. So you can see how it's starting one millimeters behind already. So what you can do now is click P for project and you want to project the box, click OK. Now we're going to hit O for offset. Click that inner line. And 
this is going to be our uh, tolerance that we're going to put all the way around. That way you can make it easier to slide in and out. So we're going to go 0 0.2 on this one all the way around then click OK. Finish sketch. Now what we can do is hide ev everything. And now we can just click this inner area right here. Hit E for extrude. The arrow is going backwards. We're going to go one millimeter thick. We're going to go new component on this. We're going to title it diffuser. And now we can turn everything back on just to show you what it looks like. And there you go. Now you have a diffuser on the back side, and you can print this out separately and just throw it in the box. Uh, that's one way of doing it. So another way of doing it is like I did this one. This one has a ton of sharp lines. And instead of doing a print separate uh, diffuser on this one, I did a solid two two solid white layers that print on the back side that way it fills any gaps and this is all one solid piece so you don't have to print any separate pieces for this method right here so if i show you how to do that uh, actually i'll show you how to do it on a fresh new light box this polymaker one so like i showed you earlier we're going to do offset plane Click on the back side of your design, and that's going to set your plane on the back side of that face. Then click OK. Click the plane, create sketch. And now, like we did earlier, hit P for project for the box. Hit OK. And then we're going to hit O for offset. Click that inner line. Actually, I lied because this is not going to be an insert. We don't have to make the offset for this one. If we're going to print in place, we're good right there. So now what we can do is finish sketch. And then now we have the uh, full sketch on the back side. Just to make things easier, I'm going to hide everything. And then now we have that full circle on the back side. I'm going to hit E for extrude and go 0 0.4. That's two solid layers uh, of printing. And then I'm going to turn on the white. So what the reason why I'm turning back on the white is because I'm going to make this print with the white. It's going to combine as one. See right here on the extrude, that's going to be join. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I can turn everything back on. Now, that white is also combined with this front white uh, body. And there you go. So now you hide everything. You can see that you're going to have these uh, two solid back layers. So this is 1.4 thick, essentially, because the front is one millimeter thick. Right here, one millimeter thick. Can you, yeah, you can see it right here. One millimeter thick plus the 0 0.4, the 1.4 total thickness. So that's how you create the uh, print in place diffuser. Wrong stand. Turn all this back on. So if I export. I can I can show ahead or go ahead and show you how to uh, save as mesh. I'm just going to throw this in my downloads. Black save. Come on, save. Save as mesh. Enter. Enter, save as mesh. And I have that labeled blue instead of teal. Okay, so now what we can do is open up Bamboo Studio, and I'll show you what this looks like after being printed in place.
rather than printing a, your own separate diffuser. I stopped making the diffusers after a while because nobody was printing them because after we got the settings tweaked, a lot less people were having pinholes in these. So what we can do now is take those bodies, throw them in here. Uh, yes, we want to do this as a single object with multiple parts. Now we can color them. Black is two, blue, and white. Lovely. Now let's flip this dude over. Move the prime tower out of the way. Now whenever we slice it, this polymaker one obviously doesn't have a ton of details on it, but if you slice it, you can see it's going to be the original design all the way up to one millimeters. And then the next two layers will be solid white, white and white. There you go. So that will fill any pinholes that could potentially happen in this design. If, if maybe these corners were super, super sharp, or if this car corner was sharp or this corner was sharp, that would, Print right over the top of that so you will not have any bright spots on this uh, entire project. So all of the lights and the LEDs will uh, still look good. No pinholes and you're good to go. Uh, let's see if you have any questions. Everything's good. So that is... A quicker lesson for today. There's not really too much more to go on that. Uh, so I'll go ahead and call it on that. That way we don't just extend this uh, blabber and about a whole bunch of nonsense. So if y'all have any questions, uh, we can go down to the application hangout. And once again, if, uh, if you're watching this live, thanks for watching it live in the Polymaker Discord. If you're watching it after the fact on YouTube or on my site, shirtle.com, uh, the YouTube channel is uh, shirtle3d. Uh, I do these streams in the Polymaker Discord every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central. And thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. So brief interruption. Uh, if you could go to shirtle.com slash links and purchase any of your items such as bamboo lab printers, filament, uh, LED string lights you might use for the light boxes, polymaker filament, my affiliate link here, uh, vectorizer AI. It is no longer free. You can use this to use my affiliate link. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much.